Hi everyone, I'm Sophie and welcome to Yoga with Sophie. Today we're doing an intermediate level power vinyasa practice. So I really want you to feel like you can challenge yourself in this practice, but take modifications as you need. We're working with the theme tapas today. So tapas is all about cultivating that inner courage and fire and determination to really push the resistance to achieve your goals, your dreams, and really stand in your own power. So this is a great theme to really cultivate on your yoga mat, but also for when you step off into life. So let's really bring some inner fire and courage and get into it. So now come to kneeling at the back of your mat or cross-legged if that's better for you. Let's bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Close the eyes and let go of any frustrations in the outside world that are bothering you right now. And just really feel the earth beneath you on the mat and come present. Let's take three full breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. One more, breathing in and out. Remember to cultivate that sense of inner fire, inner strength and courage in your practice today. Let's stretch forward into a child's pose, reaching the arms long, either knees wide or together, melt the heart down. Just breathing here, focusing the mind. And then take the arms to the right Feeling a stretch through the back of the left body. Expanding right through the back ribs. Breathing out, softening down. Let's walk the hands across. Take them to the left side of the mat. Stretching through the back of the body, through the, through the right side. Deep, full breaths here. Feeling the earth's energy support you. Come back to the center. And let's come up to tabletop. Take your wrists directly under your shoulders, knees directly under the hips. And let's take some cat and cow to mobilize through the spine. Inhale here to start, then exhale, rounding up back to the sky. And inhale, chest comes through, arching the other way. Three more, rounding the back. Really coming present in the body. Heart comes through, two more. Exhale, anchoring the mind with the breath. Other way. Last one, pressing the floor away, pushing through the hands and come to cow. Now we'll take a thread the needle stretch. So lifting the right arm high, inhale, head reaches to the sky, then curl it under and thread through and come to the side of the shoulder and the head if that's comfortable for you. Breathing deeply here. Just enjoying that twist through the thoracic spine. And then coming back to center. Other side, reaching the left arm high, inhale. Exhale, threading it through, hand comes to ground, side of the head, side of the shoulder, and keep the hip bones pressing back equally to the wall behind you. Breathing into it and coming back to center. 
So from here, let's press back to our downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, knees lift off, core engages, push the floor away and heels press down towards the earth. Doesn't matter if they don't reach, just about the direction they're heading in. And if it feels good for you, pedaling through the feet here. That's it, nice and gentle, just feeling a stretch through the backs of the legs. Pushing back and coming down once again to kneeling. I'm just going to take some bird dog crunches. So stretching the right arm up, thumb lifted up to the sky, pressing the left foot away and we crunch in just four, bringing it in, exhale and extend. Exhale and inhale, keeping the hips and shoulders nice and square. Let's build some fire in our core, in our center, where our strength comes from. Extend long, place it down. Other side, extending the left arm, right leg, crunching in. Exhale, scooping through the belly, inhale. Exhale and inhale, two more. Hips and shoulders nice and square. Last one. And find the extension coming down. Pressing the right hand, right knee into the mat, lifting the arm over by your ear. Let's come into a side crunch. Once again, just four. Extending the leg long, crunching the knee and the elbow in and extend, two, extend, three, and four, extend long, hand comes down, knee comes down, other side, building that inner fire in our center, reaching the arm over, lifting the leg, crunching in, that's four, three, two, last one, in, extend, hand comes down, knee comes down, back to our downward facing dog, tuck the toes under, hips nice and high, let's extend the back leg and then drawing the right knee in to the right elbow, bringing the weight forward, another three, lift and draw it in, weight comes forward. Now we're bringing the effort in to the upper body as we come forward. Last one, extend, draw it in, place it down. Other side, extend the left leg high, drawing it in. This is three, come forward, focused, strong, forward. Last one. Come forward, place it down, stretch back to your downward facing dog. And let's walk up to the top of the mat, feet hip width apart, come to ragdoll. You might wanna take the back of the elbows, maybe a gentle rock side to side. Let the breath come steady. And then let's scoop through the belly, rolling up vertebra by vertebra, all the way to standing. Let's heel toe the feet together. Ground down through all four corners of the feet. Draw the belly in, broaden across the collarbones. Press up through the crown of the head and we'll come to our sun salutations. Let's lift the arms, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Step back, high to low plank. Exhale, let's just take, take Cobra. Point the toes, roll the shoulders back. Just lifting through the upper back. Keep the neck long, pressing back to your downward facing dog. Look to the top of the mat. Step or jump the feet through, halfway lift. Uttanasana, bow to the earth. And then all the way to standing. Deep inhale here, reach for the sky. Forward fold, Uttanasana, exhale. 
halfway lift step back or jump back high to low plank cobra or if you're ready come to your upward facing dog downward facing dog exhale from here we lift the right leg inhale draw it in tiger curl exhale step through come to your crescent lunge anjaneyasana energy right through the arms now we twist to the back of the room arms come nice and wide electricity right through the fingertips back to center now open twist to me back to center from here cactus the arms feel the courage in your heart then close off open again inhale exhale to close scooping through the belly we open once again hands come down vinyasa through take your vinyasa cobra or upward facing dog downward facing dog lifting the left leg high inhale exhale tiger curl it in knee to chest placing the left foot down inhale crescent lunge anjaneyasana now we twist to the front of the room arms nice and wide here back to center staying strong and to the back of the room to center cactus the arms open the heart scoop the belly open once again inhale exhale we open flow through hands down vinyasa up dog like the peak of a wave downward facing dog maybe step or jump through halfway lift forward fold and come to standing bring the hands down to heart center just take one moment here feeling calm feeling focused we step back to our crescent oh well, let's come to intense pose so chair pose sink the butt light nice and low arms reaching high one full breath here inhale feel the fire exhale sinking lower come to your crescent lunge so left foot steps back sink down into the posture bend the back knee if that feels good for you then we circle the arms clasp the hands roll the shoulders back lift the heart here come to your warrior two pressing down through the outside foot arms come wide melting down into the posture then we'll reverse our warrior turn the front palm inhale fingertips touch the sky energy through both sides of the body circle the arms hands come down vinyasa lift pull back step or jump through halfway lift forward fold uttanasana and back to standing once again other side intense pose sit the butt low reach the arms high lift the heart here one full breath inhale and exhale step back with the right foot really sink into the posture here rotate the arms clasp them behind you lift the heart then come to warrior two back foot comes down open the arms nice and wide energy right from the back of your body through the fingertips reverse warrior inhale length through both sides of the body then cartwheel the hands vinyasa lift pulling back step or jump through halfway lift inhale forward fold exhale and then all the way back to samasthiti 
We're going to take that sequence again, but build on it. So intense pose, lift the arms, step back to your crescent lunge, wrap the arms behind you, open through the chest, come to your warrior two, arms come nice and wide, stay strong, stay focused, turn the palm, reverse warrior. Now from here, we're coming to half moon. So bring the foot in and shoulders and hips are stacked. Eye gaze just a little in front of you, flex the back foot. You're between two panes of glass. Now we rotate, keeping the arms wide to our warrior three. Stay focused, stay in your courage. Let's come to revolved half moon. Front hand reaches for the floor, top hand to the sky. Back to your warrior three. Stay in your power. Then release, fold forward. Breathe. Let go. And roll back to standing. Let's take the second side. Staying strong. So inhale, sit down, lift the arms. Step back to your crescent lunge. Open the arms, clasp the hands, reach the heart nice and high. Feel the great, beautiful stretch here. Warrior two, open the arms wide. Sink into the posture, find your fierce warrior. Reverse warrior, turn the palm. Length through both sides of the body. Then we come to our half moon. Step the back foot in. Find that spot in front of you. You're between two panes of glass. Tipping over sideways. Come to your warrior three. Arms nice and wide. Helping you balance. Keep breathing. Revolved half moon. This is where we build our power, where we transform the mind. Arms come wide and then fold forward once again. Stay here a moment, release, let go before rolling to standing. We're going to take a couple of standing balances. So really ground down through the right foot. We're coming to Eagle Pose, Garudasana. Left foot crosses over the top, wrapping the left arm underneath. Find that fixed spot in front of you. Set your gaze, your drishti. Let go of everything but that fixed spot in front of you and your breath. One more full breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Then we're coming to re revolved big toe hold. So right hand takes the left foot or the knee if that's better for you. Stretching the left foot out. Drawing your core in. And if you can, slowly, slowly take your gaze to the wall behind you. Hold here a moment if you can. Come back in, release down. Give the foot a shake if you need. Breathe, let's take the second side. So grounding down into the left foot. Right foot comes over the top. Circle the arm, right arm underneath. Sit down into the posture. Find that fixed spot in front of you. And find your dharana. Intense concentration on that goal. Pushing past resistance. One more full breath here. Inhale. And exhale. 
then we come to revolved big toe hold. So either holding onto the knee or the big toe. Take the leg out in front of you. And if you can, revolving the gaze to the wall behind you. Coming back to the front, placing the foot down and just give the body a shake. Great work, everyone. If you're still here, I applaud you for your efforts. Let's just lift high and then flow forward, Uttanasana. From here, we're gonna to start to draw the energy down a little. So left foot steps back to your runner's lunge. Knee comes down, bring the chest nice and high, feeling that stretch through the front of the hip, through the hip flexors. And just start to really let the breath slow down. Staying focused, staying in your power. From here, pyramid pose. Hands come down, bring the back foot in a little, come to about a 35 degree angle. You can bend the front knee if you need, and then just take a hamstring stretch. Breathing, encouraging the muscles to relax and to stretch. One more full breath here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. See if you can go a little further. Then we'll come to our skandasana. Hands to the front of the mat, turning the right foot out, flexing the left foot, either hands down for balance or hands at prayer at heart center. So stretching through the inner thighs here, but keeping active, lifting out of the pelvis. And let's take the other side, walking the hands over, pressing into the left foot, hands at heart center, and let's stretch to the other side. So right knee comes down, lifting the chest, pelvis in neutral alignment, feeling the stretch through the front of the thigh into the hip. Just hold here. Taking this time for your mind, your body, your spirit. And come to pyramid pose, hands down, back foot in a little, foot at about 35 degrees, and then find that hamstring stretch. Staying with the breath. Breath anchoring you here in the present moment. One more full breath. And coming to Skandasana. So hands come to the front, feet turned out, flexing the right foot. Find your position, feeling into the active stretch here. Staying present right in this moment and coming across to the other side. Just a moment here before we really start to draw the energy down. So just sitting down, I'm going to come to lie down now. So options here are to take Sapta Gomukhasana. So you can cross the front leg over, take the feet and just feel a stretch through the hips or just come to your pretzel stretch. So ankle onto the thigh, reach the hands through to the hamstring or the top of the shin and draw the knee towards you. Whatever feels good for your hips, your body. 
Maybe close the eyes here. Just turning the gaze inward. Seeing how your energy has shifted since you walked onto the mat today. And then when you're ready, swapping sides. Back knee crosses over, take your position and just release into it. One more breath here, inhale and let it go. Bring the knees in, let's come to a twist. So either having the knees together or you can cross the top knee over and head may want to turn to the back of the room. Just melt into the floor, melting away any tension. And let's take the other side. So either knees together or crossing the top knee over, reaching the arms wide, closing off the eyes if that feels good. And when you're ready, just drawing the knees in towards the chest, massaging the lower back on the floor. And now either coming to Sapta Baddha Konasana, Extended Butterfly or Shavasana. Maybe soles of the feet together, knees wide, sweep the arms overhead, take the elbows and just relaxing into the earth. Deep inhales and exhales. Feeling good about what you've done for yourself today, the gifts you've given yourself. Time to become stronger, more powerful within yourself. You can stay here if you've got a little more time. Otherwise, keeping the eyes closed, rolling over to one side, pressing yourself up and coming to a seated position. So legs are crossed, hands are resting lightly on the thighs, broaden across the collarbones and then energy right from the tailbone all the way up the spine and through the crown of the head. And with the eyes closed, let's take the arms wide on the inhale, coming overhead and then on the exhale, drawing the hands to prayer at heart center. And then open the eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your time to practice with me today. I hope you're now feeling a sense of inner courage and strength. And then you can take that with you as you step off the mat today. Namaste. And don't forget, if you'd like to see more classes like these, like and share the video with your friends, leave me a comment and subscribe to my channel.